Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm making Thanksgiving coloring pages for kids. This will be so fun for the kids and your family to color during Thanksgiving dinner. Please subscribe if you're new to my channel. I would love to have you here. I share Cricut tutorials and inspiration. Also, check out my Patreon account in my description box below if you are interested. It's just another way to support my channel and receive some perks as well. And first, I'll show you how I put this together in Cricut Design Space. First thing I want to do is look for my coloring page template, and this is in Cricut Design Space. So I'm going to click on projects and it'll show up with all of the Cricut Design Space projects. And I'm going to search for coloring page. And I'll scroll down and look for it. Here's the one that I want to use. When you scroll down, it will tell you what materials you need and everything about the project. Also, you can scroll down and see the images here. It looks like these are part of Cricut Access, which I subscribe to, but Disney is not. It's $5.97 for those, but I am going to delete those images so I won't have to pay that $5.97, but I subscribe to Cricut Access, but if you don't, I'm not sure how much it would be, but if you go into Cricut Design Space and look this up it should tell you right here so now I'm gonna click on customize I really like having Cricut access I have a link below if you are interested in it you can click on that and it will take you to it Cricut design space projects have it ready to go if you want to make it exactly like that but since I'm going to be changing these images. I want to customize these. So first I'm going to select on this. It already has all of these attached. So what you want to do is hit detach. And I am just going to delete the images. So I am going to do the same thing for the other two. I want to add my own images. So I'm going to click on upload and I am going to select these three. And I'm going to insert these into Cricut Design Space. It usually inserts these pretty big. These are patron images if you are interested in these. Now what I'm going to do is just resize these. I just kind of eyeballed these to make sure they were in the center. Next what I want to do is make these a draw image. So I'm going to select this one and I'll go up to the top where it says line type and I'll select draw. And I'll do that for all three of these. After that I'm just going to attach each one of these. After I do that, I'm going to click on make it. I'm cutting these out on 8 by 5 by 11 cardstock, so I'm going to change it to that. It looks like it will only fit on one page. Now I'll click on continue. The cardstock that I'm using is 65 pounds, so I'll just select the light cardstock. It tells me to load my tools in matte, so I need to load my black pen, and I already have my fine point blade in clamp B. I placed my white cardstock on my blue light grip mat. This is 65 pound cardstock that I bought at Michael's. Next, I place my black Cricut pin into clamp A. I push up on the slot while I push the pin down, and you will hear a click when the pin is in place. I load my mat into my machine and it will start drawing out the design first, then it will cut around it. I'm not sure what it is about the Cricut drawing, but I think it is just so much fun to watch it draw.
Once the Cricut is done, I unload the mat and take off the cardstock. The easiest way to do this is turn the mat upside down and bend the mat backwards. The cardstock will come off easily without bending. After that, I'll add another piece of cardstock and load that into the machine and the Cricut will draw it out. Then I will do the same thing for the last design. Now I'm just adding the crayons into the slots. Here's my son demonstrating coloring on these. He was dying to use the new crayons and I told him he had to wait until I finished my video and now he can fi finally use them. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Hit the bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos and check out my Patreon account in the description box below if you would like to support my channel even further and there are some perks as well when you join and have a great day.